Hello dear viewers! We know everyone watching loves a character with layers upon layers of lore. So, with that in mind, we picked one that has more lives than a cat. A hero that has been a major player in DC Comics since the Golden Age. Now, let's get to talking about Hawk Girl. The reincarnated Egyptian has been a memorable superhero. I'm Andrew LaPamardo, and this is Marvelous Videos. The DC Universe has undergone many transformations over the decades as they keep updating their timelines and superheroes. One such superheroine is Hawkgirl, and her story began thousands of years ago in ancient Egypt. She was first introduced in Flash Comics in 1942, and various versions of this superheroine have been incorporated into the DC Universe ever since. Hawkgirl's story began in the golden era of DC Universe, and she became part of the Justice League and even played quite a significant role in the Arrowverse. Today, we explore Hawkgirl's origins and tell you everything there is to know about her. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. The Multiple Versions of Hawkgirl and Everything You Need to Know About Her Hawkgirl was first introduced in the Flash comics in 1942, and is one of the oldest superheroines in the DC Universe. There are multiple versions of Hawkgirl, which all have slightly different backstories, powers, and abilities. So far, Hawkgirl has been portrayed as three characters, namely Shiera Sanders Hall, Shiera Hall, and Kendra Saunders. Shiera Hall was the original Hawkgirl, who is well known as the Hawkgirl from the Golden Age. Shiera was the reincarnation of an Egyptian princess, Shiera, who was killed with a knife made of nth metal. The metal properties of the knife helped bring her back to life in the form of Shiera Sanders Hall, and the knife even reincarnated her lover Prince Khufu. Prince Khufu was then known as Carter Hall, who later became Hawkman. Princess Shiera's reincarnation as Shiera Sanders took place at the beginning of the 20th century, when she finally took on the persona of Hawkgirl. Shiera Sanders' hot girl was followed by Shiera Hall, who was known as the Silver Age version of this superheroine. Shiera's hot girl has a widespread presence in the animated DC Universe, and she was also the hot girl who played an integral role in the formation of the Justice League. She was also known as Hawk Woman, originating from the planet Thanagar. Thanagar was a highly advanced planet, and Shiera worked in the armed forces there. She was romantically involved with a superior officer in the Thanagarian military, and was later sent to Earth on a mission. Shiera met the Justice League here and fought by their side. Shiera Hall's Hawkgirl first appeared in the Brave and the Bold comics in 1961, and was created by Gardner Fox. Finally, the most recent Hawkgirl is Kendra Saunders, and she was first introduced in JSA Secret Files and Origins. Kendra's hot girl was created by David Goyer and Steven Sadowski, and her origins were quite tragic compared to the others. Kendra was the descendant of Shiera Sanders' cousin, Speed Sounders, and had lived a very tough childhood. After suffering for her entire life, Kendra decided to end her life, and she committed suicide. However, Shiera Sanders' soul replaced Kendra's soul when she tried to kill herself, making her the new hot girl. Speed Sounders recognized his cousin Shiera's soul and encouraged Kendra to embrace her new persona. Though Kendra retained all her memories of her own life, she also had some new memories after Shiera's soul entered her body. These new memories mainly consisted of combats and enhanced Kendra's fighting skills to some extent. Kendra's Hawkgirl was altered quite a bit in order to adapt to the new age, and fans very much appreciated this updated version of the Hawkgirl. Hawkgirl appeared in story arcs such as The Crisis on Infinite Worlds, Flashpoint, DC Rebirth, and various events that altered her character's story arc across ages. Initially, she was part of the Justice Society of America in the Golden Age, and later became a pivotal member of the Justice League during the Silver Age. Since Hawkgirl has been portrayed by different characters during these two ages, the DC Universe established that both these Hawkgirls originated from two different realities. While Shiera's Hawkgirl was said to be from Earth-1, Shiera Hall was introduced as the Hawkgirl from Earth 2. Later, Kendra Saunders was introduced as the modern Hawkgirl, who worked with the Justice League, Birds of Prey, and other such teams of superheroes. <laughs> A brief history of one of the founding members of the Justice League. Shiera Hall, also known as the Hawkgirl of the Silver Age, 
was one of the core members of the Justice League. She originated from the planet Thanagar, where she was a lieutenant in the Thanagarian military. Shayera was also engaged to Commander Ro Talek, her superior in the military. The Thanagarians had plans to invade Earth, and were concerned about their enemies, the Gordarians, cornering them on Earth. They planned to pose as Earth's saviors against the Gordarians, with the true intention of taking over Earth in the process. The military decided to send Shiara to Earth before their invasion in order to look for weaknesses in the Earth's defense. She worked undercover on Earth and came up with a story about being accidentally teleported to Earth on a mission. Shiara soon became popular as Hawkgirl and worked alongside with superheroes to fight crime on Earth. She worked with Superman to protect Earth when the alien species Imperium invaded the planet, and they were later joined by Batman, John Jones, Wonder Woman, Flash, and Green Lantern. The group ended up getting captured in an alien factory, but they freed themselves and managed to get rid of the aliens. In fact, Hawkgirl played a major role in getting rid of Imperium, and she was soon invited to the space station Watchtower along with the other superheroes. Together, these six superheroes formed the Justice League, and Hawkgirl played an active role in the group's missions. Hawkgirl fought various villains such as Darkseid, Music Master, Solomon Grundy, and so on. While tracking Solomon Grundy, Hawkgirl came across Dr. Fate and realized that he had some connection to Thanagar. Hawkgirl further looked into this and realized that the Ichthultu had come to Earth. Ichthultu was once worshipped on Thanagar, but had now become an evil presence that needed to be stopped. Hawkgirl and some of the other Justice League members then traveled to his dimension along with Dr. Fate and Solomon Grundy. Here, Grundy and Hawkgirl worked together to kill Ichthultu. Though their mission was successful, Solomon Grundy ended up sacrificing his life in the effort. While working with the Justice League, Hawkgirl got quite close to Jon Stewart, also known as Green Lantern. Jon Stewart had once even sacrificed his life in order to save Hawkgirl from an explosion, but Hawkgirl later used her powers to bring him back to life, even after being advised against doing so by Batman. Jon later made a full recovery, and he and Hawkgirl officially got into a relationship. However, Hawkgirl's happiness was quite short-lived, as she also had to focus on her Thanagarian mission. After the Thanagarian forces shot down an enemy Gordarian ship, her mission on Earth was complete. She then handed over all her data regarding the Earth's defense as well as the Justice League's powers and weaknesses to the Thanagarians. They went through these reports and decided that Earth was not prepared to defend themselves in case the Gordarians attacked them. Moreover, they declared that they would set up a force field generator to protect the Earth from the Gordarians. The Justice League and the Earth did not like the idea of the Thanagarians overseeing their defenses, and it was about that time that Hawkgirl was revealed to be a spy. This severely damaged her relationship with Jon Stewart and her other Justice League teammates. Hawkgirl was loyal to the Thanagarian cause and insisted that they were doing what was best for everyone. She sided with her homeworld when the Justice League started resisting them, who were soon captured due to the information Shiera had shared with her homeworld's military. At the time, Shiera was not aware of the true intentions of the Thanagarians, and she even attacked Jon Stewart with her mace during one of their clashes. Later, Shiera learned that the Thanagarians were not installing a force field, but were actually preparing to build a hyperspace bypass generator. This generator would help the Thanagarians to directly invade the Gordarians' homeworld, but it would destroy the Earth in this process. Hawkgirl then betrayed her homeworld and stole any information she could in order to help Earth. She then handed this information to Bruce Wayne and tried to set things right with the Justice League. Only Jon Stewart still trusted her, and Hawkgirl returned his power ring to him and told her side of the story. Meanwhile, the Thanagarians soon learned that Hawkgirl betrayed them, and they imprisoned her. Ro Talek, Shiera's fiancé from Thanagar, also realized that she did not have feelings for him anymore. He offered to release Shiera if only she admitted that she doesn't love Jon, but she refused to do so. Later, Hawkgirl was freed from this prison by Wonder Woman, and the Justice League confronted Ro Talek. Jon Stewart and Talek ended up facing each other, and Stewart defeated the Thanagarian leader. They even destroyed the bypass generator, and the Thanagarians soon left Earth. Later, the Justice League called a meeting to decide Hawkgirl's fate in their team, but she voluntarily resigned and left the team. She stays with Dr. Fate and his wife for a while, until Solomon Grundy rises from the dead and stirs up trouble for the Justice League. Hawkgirl was then asked to step in to defeat Grundy, since the metal from her mace was the only weapon capable of stopping Grundy. After this situation subsided, 
Superman tells Hawkgirl that the Justice League was actually in favor of her staying in the group, and that they never want to dismiss her. Hawkgirl returned to the team, but things were a little different this time around. John was in a relationship with a new group member named Vixen, and Batman and Wonder Woman were also not very pleased to have her back. Over time, Hawkgirl fixed her relationship with the other teammates and continued to work with the Justice League for a long time. Let me give it a shot. She made her mark in the Arrowverse as well. Kendra Saunders Hawkgirl was portrayed by the actress Kira Renee in the Arrowverse, and she played a significant role in The Legends of Tomorrow. Kendra used to work as a barista at CC Jitters, where Cisco Ramon often visited her and tried to ask her out. Cisco was the founding member of Team Flash, and he could see glimpses of people's past lives when he vibed or had any physical contact with them. Initially, Kendra turns him down but she soon agrees to go on a date with him. When Kendra and Sisko had any physical contact, Sisko could see glimpses of a winged being with a helmet, and he realized that this being was Kendra herself. Kendra was later hunted down by an immortal man named Vandal Savage, who kept showing up in unlikely places and addressing Kendra as Princess Shyera. Vandal was determined to get his hands on Kendra, but she was rescued by the Flash. Flash brought Kendra to Star Labs along with Sisko and inquired about the strange man. Kendra declared that she has never met this man before, but the Flash and other characters such as the Green Arrow believed they had some connection. Later, Vandal tried to break into the room through a window, and Team Flash fought him. Sisko then told Kendra about the vision he had gotten earlier, when Malcolm Merlin and the League of Assassins showed up. They revealed that this man is Vandal Savage, an immortal being who has been alive for centuries. Malcolm stressed that Kendra was in immense danger when a strange man with wings appeared and kidnapped her. This man introduced himself as Khufu and seemed to be the past life incarnation of Princess Shaira's lover. Khufu asked Kendra to stay with him until all her memories as Shaira returned to her, but the Green Arrow and Flash located them and brought them back to the Foundry. Here, the man introduces himself as Carter Hall, and tells them that he was originally Prince Khufu, who has now been reincarnated. Carter also tells them that Vandal Savage keeps killing them, and has so far managed to kill them 206 times. Moreover, Vandal keeps getting stronger with each kill, and Kendra realizes just how dangerous the situation is turning out to be. Malcolm then tells them that they need to get their hands on an ancient weapon called Staff of Hours, that can kill Vandal. Carter Hall insists that he can activate Kendra's powers and memories, and he asks her to jump off a building in order to unlock her true abilities. While she's hesitant at first, Kendra ultimately jumps and transforms into Hawk Girl. She also gets her wings, and Green Arrow tries to get her to unlock some more of her abilities. The Flash does not wish Green Arrow to train her, and these two superheroes then track Vandal and meet with him. Vandal gives them a 24-hour deadline to hand over Carter and Kendra. Otherwise, Vandal said he would destroy all of Central City. Kendra does not wish for so many people to die for her sake and starts training with some help from Carter. The group finds a way to defeat Vandal through Professor Aldous Boardman, who reveals that Vandal's immortality was a result as an unearthly calamity and any event related to this calamity would make Vandal vulnerable. The team makes a plan to lure Vandal by handing over Kendra to him and then attacking him. But this plan does not work and Kendra ends up dead. In the end, the Flash uses his ability to go back in time to undo these events. This time around, even Sisko helps Kendra attain the full potential of her powers and tells her to focus on her priestess side rather than the warrior side. Kendra then manages to unlock her abilities, and the team successfully defeats Vandal Savage and kills him with the Staff of Hours. After a few months, Kendra and Carter start fighting crime together along with the Legends of Tomorrow. Here, they were recruited by Rip Hunter, a rogue time captain who was on a mission to destroy Vandal Savage once and for all. Kendra finds herself facing this villain yet again, only this time around, she has excellent training in her powers and abilities. Vandal ends up killing Carter Hall, who is later reincarnated into Scythian Torvel. Scythian and Kendra work together to kill Vandal, and they later decide to leave the Legends. However, they returned back to the team in the future to save one of their former members' children. Oh. 
she has been a consistent presence in the animated universe. All the versions of Hawkgirl have appeared in various forms of media in the animated DC universe, but the Shiara Hall version especially has a widespread presence. Shiara's Hawkgirl appeared in episodes of both Justice League and the Justice League Unlimited animated series. She also appeared in the all-new Super Friends Hour series and the Super Friends animated TV shows. This version of the Hawkgirl has also been included in the animated Green Lantern film, as well as Teen Titans Go! to the movies. Moreover, she also has a cameo in The Justice League, the New Frontier animated film. Shira Saunders' Hawkgirl made a small appearance in an episode of the DC Superhero Girls, whereas Kendra Saunders has a widespread presence in the same animated series. Kendra's Hawkgirl also appears in five DC Superhero Girls animated movies. Besides, Kendra Saunders' Hawkgirl was also included in the Lego Batman movie. Another version of the Hawkgirl, known as Angelique, made an appearance in the animated Justice League Crisis on Two Earths film. Here, Hawkgirl is portrayed as an evil villain who is a member of a crime syndicate. Hawkgirl has quite an extensive role in the DC animated universe, and all the different versions of this superheroine are quite well represented here. What makes her so powerful? Hawkgirl used to be a part of the Thanagarian military, where she picked up many skills such as strategic planning, combat skills, and military science. She was also skilled in various forms of martial arts and could easily defeat many supernatural beings in hand-to-hand -hand combat. On one occasion, Hawkgirl single-handedly defeated four members of the Green Lantern Corps in combat. Hawkgirl was not only physically strong, but she was also mentally powerful. She was resistant to mind control and could not be possessed by any beings. Hawkgirl's intellectual capabilities also helped her cover her tracks and commit espionage, and she often got away undetected in dangerous situations. Besides being skilled at staying undetected, Hawkgirl was gifted at tracking down her opponents, which gave her an added advantage. Hawkgirl also had a pair of wings made of nth metal that grew from her back and these wings helped her in flight and even had some healing powers. She could even fly across various planets to some extent, as long as she stayed close enough to the Earth's gravity. Hawkgirl's strength and endurance was beyond the scope of humans, and her Thanagarian roots made her a difficult opponent to defeat. While Hawkgirl had some exceptional powers, she was also claustrophobic, which ended up being a major weakness in tough situations. Batman! Conclusion To sum it up, Hawkgirl is undoubtedly one of DC's most powerful superheroines. She also proved to be a valuable team member on various occasions, and her presence has definitely made a mark across many story arcs, even in the extended DC universe. She is a widely loved character, and a modern day project featuring her has the potential to be a huge hit. While there is nothing official on the horizon, we can definitely keep our fingers crossed for upcoming projects that may feature a modern day version of Hawkgirl. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.